Ladies and gentlemen of this Red Game and Zetacom video, unsurprisingly, Microsoft are unhappy, very unhappy, with how they have done in Japan. It's fair to say that the console's launch has been pretty much a tragedy. Um, they managed to sell 23,562 Xbox Ones on launch, and on the third week of sale, only 1,314 systems. That's bad. That's really awful. And obviously, well, the Japanese head honcho, whose name is Takashi Sensue, hopefully I pronounced that correctly, um, is not happy, which is, well, pretty much obvious. It's like me saying that I'd like some oxygen in space. But anyway, he said, it's not as though we're satisfied with the current state of sales. We hope to continue through taking user feedback and improving Xbox One and offering content that everyone can enjoy. We also are aware that reaching out to more people and know that Xbox One is vital. However, the current console generation has become very long. We hope to lay out a very long-term vision and focus on publicity for our console. Taking the first steps is very important. And as for how to permanently market from here, we hope to continue to do our best. Um, it's worth noting that the fairly well respected, and in my personal opinion, for good reason, Phil Spencer, who is of course the head over the Xbox division, also added his thoughts on this and said that, well, Xbox One in Japan has a very long road. Um, it's not going to be an easy one, he admits, but they need to basically spread the word throughout the division and stress that both Japan and Japanese games creators were important to Microsoft and that the company would continue to strive to do their best. But they are not going to be quitting. They are still focused on the Japanese region. Now, it's actually quite weird because in China... The Xbox One's actually selling fairly bloody well. One can argue that some of this is the fact that, well, the console ban, obviously now it's been lifted after, if memory serves, 14 years. The Xbox One is the first console, really, that's been sold officially, and I say in such a tone, because, well, let's face it, China and the black market are fairly synonymous with one another. In other words, people were just basically going out buying the bloody systems anyway. But still, there's the air of, well, this is fine, this is permitted now, it's permissible to buy an Xbox One or a console legally. Microsoft were pretty much on the ball. And the system, we don't have, well, as far as I understand, as far as I know, as of right the second, we don't have official sales numbers, but it's fair to say that they're better than Japan. In fact, China held a midnight launch for the console, and as I said in that particular video when I was covering it, from a very black and white, raw, harsh point of view, it's better to be successful in China because, well, there are more people who are going to buy the system. Theoretically, obviously it depends on how many people are affluent enough to be able to afford the system, and you've also got the point of view that, in many ways, us Westerners respect the Japanese in terms of their tastes and typically um, if a console does well in Japan it also of course is going to attract quite a few Japanese investors and it's fair to say or should I say game developers and it's fair to say that while not all Japanese games are going to come out in the UK or the States simply because they can be mm, quirky I suppose you could say a lot of them are also extremely awesome. Um, and this is something that Microsoft definitely don't want to do. They don't want to feel that themselves that they're being ostracized by a fairly large demographic of gamers. And it's it's not like they're being outsold like 3 to 1. That's the thing. It's like if it was even 3 or 4 to 1, that'd be bad. But it wouldn't be to the point where it's laughable. But, like, if you're going into a store, you know, it, let's say you're going into a midnight launch in Japan. Let's say you were one of those uh, pers persons who decided, hey, you know what, I want to buy an Xbox One. Uh, whatever title you're going to end up with. And then you went to that store and there was no one else there. Maybe one other person. You'd be thinking to yourself, did I come on the wrong day? Am I making a mistake? Like, is this something inherently wrong with the system? Has it exploded and 
cause like damage in people's homes or something? Why why are people boycotting it? And therefore, that's in other words, it's a negative spin. And this is the problem that Microsoft have. Now that we can argue the semantics as to why, but they've got a really difficult road ahead of them. I'm not saying it's impossible. They have the financial clout to do it. But I don't think this is going to be a case of show it on television. Because honestly, and this is going to sound fairly harsh, but I don't think that would be enough. Um, the Japanese gamers are very set in their ways, and I, I I mean that in a very respectful way, but they know what they like, and to be honest, Microsoft are not appealing to it. Microsoft got absolutely slapped repeatedly, even in the Western media, for the whole TV. In fact, there are multiple multiple montages of the Xbox One unveiling, the initial unveiling, where they just basically highlighted the number of times TV or variants thereof were highlighted. And, you know, the video was like two minutes long or three minutes long, and all you heard was TV, TV, TV. And it really hurt Microsoft in the media. Now, Microsoft, to be fair to Phil Spencer and to give him so much credit, he did a fantastic job pulling back mostly thanks to Don Matrick. Don Matrick did a lot of harm. However, at the end of the day, to appeal to an audience, you need to do multiple things. You need to be at a price point, and this is basic marketing, which is not something I probably need to explain to most of you, but fairly obviously, you need to have a good price point. You need to have the games that people want to buy. You need to have a good branding. And finally, you need... Well, people to know about your brand. I'd say Microsoft, you know, people do know that Xbox One is launched, I'd imagine. But what they don't want in a situation is where they've got no games on the shelves so people don't buy the system and therefore the Japanese retailers are just going to say, you know what, let's not stock this console or let's marginalize the console because another issue with this, let's just, you'll see like less and less and less and less and less shelf space dedicated to the system. And therefore, it gives the illusion, the impression, when the consumers go in and look at the system and they, you know, think, oh, I wonder, I wonder what we should try out. Well, you know, they might not even have a demo, demo kiosk. And obviously, this isn't at that point yet. The system's just launched. Now, I'm not saying it's a travesty and that they can never recuperate from this. But I would say that they need to do something far sooner rather than later. And from Microsoft's point of view, and from my point of view, as someone who owns both an Xbox One and a PlayStation 4, and I imagine many of you who own an Xbox, or even if you just own a PlayStation 4, I think it's a good thing if Microsoft do fairly well. We don't want a situation where in certain territories, Microsoft are just not competitive because it's bad for us as consumers in the long run. And obviously, we don't want a situation where we're getting poorer games or Sony don't feel that, oh, you know what? I don't have to try in this region. Screw it. I'm sure it's fine. I know they're just going to buy my bloody product. And that's sort of the situation that Sony had with Japan. They actually pushed back the release, pushed back the release of the PlayStation 4, and instead focused on, say, Europe and America. The reason for this? Because they knew that they were going to do well in Japan. It was inevitable. They knew that Microsoft really... I mean, they probably didn't think that Microsoft were going to do this badly. They knew that it wasn't exactly going to be a, rounding, a, a, sorry, a, a rousing success for their launch, but they, they didn't think it was going to be a travesty. Um, but they did know that they were certainly going to outsell Microsoft, and therefore they didn't feel that they had to put a precedence or priority on the region. And you don't want that. Um, so I personally want Microsoft to do pretty well. As I said, I, I don't really care who wins the war. And I say war in such a way because I feel console wars are quite ridiculous as a whole. But what I do want is it for it to at least be a good fight or a good decision depending on the region. So, you know, there's positives and negatives of both systems. Anyway, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you could rate, comment, subscribe, give your thoughts and opinions... Internet cookies would be great as well. I would greatly appreciate it. Anyway, take care and bye for now.